Okay, for this particular question, uh, it is about the formation of tsunami due to earthquakes. So if you study the diagram given, uh, there's an indication of an earthquake movement. They even tell you there's sea bed displacement due to the earthquake. However, it is not very clear the direction of the displacement, but they do tell you that this has resulted in an earthquake. At the top of the diagram, at the sea level, you do see an uh, indication of speed of the waves moving and as a result, the wave height is also shown to you. Um, what is key in this question here? How do you get the 5 marks? Um, first and foremost, you need to talk about earthquakes and what happens during an earthquake. A key thing that must come out is the fact that there is uplift of the crustal plate under the sea. So if there's no uplift of the crustal plate, there is uh, simply shaking action. The possibility of a tsunami forming is not high. So one of the key points that must come out is uplift. Then subsequently you need to talk about when there is sudden uplift of the coastal plate, what happens to the large volume of water above it. So it gets pushed upwards and spread sideways. The other thing that needs to be talked about is the concept of fetch. So as we know, the longer the fetch, the stronger the waves. So the distance when the uplift occurs from the coast also affects the size of the tsunami. Feel free to pause the video and take a look at the candidate's answers for this particular portion. This candidate is actually missing just um, two very important things. Firstly, candidate uh, mistook the concept of earthquakes under the sea floor. Uh, there's failure to mention uplift. So if you have no uplifting, there will be no trigger of a tsunami. Uh, the second thing that this candidate is missing is actually the example. So a uh, clear example is necessary to score full marks for this particular question. Moving on, this is the second question on uh, plate tax, a very common one. Uh, this is continental continental convergence. So what is shown in the diagram here is basically formation of four mountains. Then from C is a series of four mountains. Um, this diagram is actually one lifted off the textbook. So it actually shows uh, ancient oceanic plate subducting. However, that is not the emphasis for this. Please understand, continental continental convergence, there is almost zero subduction. Both plates are very light and as a result, there is massive upfolding. If there is no massive upfolding, your four mountain range will number one not form, number two will not be that dramatic in size. So if you are answering this particular question, it is important to note clearly that there is actually no subduction by the continental crust on both sides. Similarly, please pause the video to take a look at the candidate's answer first. This candidate sensor is uh, almost complete uh, for with only some very minor errors in there. The key thing that the candidate wrote or missed out is the fact that the ancient oceanic crust uh, is the one that subducts and not the continental crust. Uh, use of uh, generic terms instead of specific geographical terms like layers and missing out on the example of a uh, mountain range, a full mountain range. So because this is a five mark question, an expectation is there for you to name a real life example. 